hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab but i request you please watch the video carefully because if you miss a one single point then you are not able to get a score on that particular task so first of all just log in with your looker credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and just enable this development mode if you do not enable this development mode then you are not able to edit the files okay and once your development mode is enabled then click on this develop option and then choose a quick left flights like this now it will take a couple of seconds to load the data meanwhile in description box i will share one github link so just open that github link okay now first thing that you have to do just copy this content of task number one just copy that just wait and then click on the general and then click on this flights and here you can see faa model just open these files like this now just simply scroll down and then here you can see just give little bit enters over here and just paste that content like this which just copy okay now just simply click on this save then click on this validate and it will be done in a couple of seconds and it's done now click on this commit now this is our task number one so i'm just going to type task one and then click on this commit and then click on this deploy to production and it's done now what you have to do just open this thing new tab like this just simply come back over here now if you just simply scroll down and here you can see explore airports that means just simply click over here and then in faa click on this airports like this now just go back to over to lab instructions come on the task number one and if you just simply scroll down what we need we need this kind of output so just first of all click on the start from here now just wait for this data get load okay now first thing what you have to do just copy this number like this do not copy that full stop just copy the number and then click on this gear icon just simply scroll down and here you can see value format just paste the number over here and here you can see its visualization must looking like this okay once you're done with this just simply click on this gear icon then save and save to exist in dashboard like this now just simply scroll down copy this name for your visualization just change the name over here now just what we have to do we have to create new dashboard so just copy this name then click on this new dashboard paste the name over here then click on this ok and then just simply click on save and it's done now if we just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue ok so that's mean we are done with the task number one now what you have to do just close this tab and remove this content like this okay now go back to the github just copy this content of task number two like this paste over here again do the same thing save validate then click on commit so this is a task number two so we are going to type task two then click on this commit option and then click on this deploy to production and it's done now open this thing new tab now if you just check over here you can see explore airports that's mean where we have to go in explore faa airports just wait then click on start from here now i request you please watch the video carefully because the task number two is little bit tricky so first of all if you just go back to the lab instructions and come on the task number two here you can see first of all what we have to do we have to change the row limit so just change the row limit to 5 so we are done with this point now just simply come on the visualization task so first thing what we have to do we have to click on bar icon so this is a bar icon like this now what we have to do just simply scroll down in value we have to choose value labels so just simply click on this gear icon and then just simply click on this value and just enable this value label like this so we are done with this point now here please pay attention click on this y just simply scroll down and here you can see airports just drag this to top axis like this here you can see in top axis it's airport in bottom axis it must be average elevation like this now just simply scroll down and here you can see configure axis just simply click on this top one like this now what you have to do just copy this name make sure you are in the top one like this just simply scroll down and paste the name over here once you paste the name like count you can see it's added over here now i request to because i know most of you guys miss this point here you can see in value we have to just change a value format so just copy this value format like this go back to the value 
just simply scroll down and here you can see value format just paste the number over here like this once you're done with this you have to click on this run option make sure we have to click on this run option because we have to change the row limit okay you can see the row limit is 5 now once you're done with all the changes just simply click on this gear icon save and save to existing dashboard now for the title just simply scroll down copy this name do not copy that full stop okay make sure of that thing copy like this paste the name over here and choose the airport dashboard just simply click on save and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score rewind the video watch the task carefully you will get a score without any issue okay now for the task number three first of all just close this tab remove this content like this okay go back to the github repo copy this content of task number three copy that paste over here like this then click on the save then click on this validate then click on this commit and this is a task number three so i'm just going to type task three just simply click on this commit and then click on this deploy to production and it's done now open this thing new tab now here you can see in explore where we have to go we have to go flights so just simply come back over here click on this explore and in faa click on this flights okay now just wait and then click on start from here now go back to the lab instructions come on the task number three just simply scroll down no need to make any changes over here but in a visualization what we have to do we have to check line so it's already chosen then click on this gear icon and then if you can see what we have to choose in series we have to choose field so just simply click on this series then just simply scroll down and here you can see point style you have to just choose fields so we are done with this point now here please pay attention first of all click on this y axis so just simply click on this y and just simply scroll down and here you can see in markings reference line just simply click on this add reference line and it's done so we are done with all these points okay now just simply scroll down copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name click on this gear icon then click on save save to access in dashboard now here just change the name and the task number three we have to create a new dashboard make sure that in task number three we have to create new dashboard for the name just copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name click on this new dashboard paste the name click on ok and choose the that dashboard which you just created ok just simply click on save and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress of task number three you will get a score without any issue just wait and watch okay now task number four is a little bit tricky so i request to please pay little bit attention over here so first of all just close this tab scroll down copy all this content okay now go back to the github and now just copy the last content of this lab just copy this paste over here like this again do the same drill save validate and then click on commit now for the message just type task 4 click on this commit and then click on this deploy to production and it's done then open this thing new tab come back over here now here you can see in explore where we had to go we had to go flights so just simply click on this explore in faa click on this flights and then click on start from here now if you just come back to the lab instruction and come on the task number four if you just simply scroll down and here you can see point number five okay please check the point number five what we had to do just copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name just simply search over here like this and if you just hover over here you can see pivot data symbol just click over here like this okay so we are done with this part now just simply come on the customization of visualization so first of all what we have to choose we have to choose line so this is a line okay now what we have to do just simply scroll down here you can see under plots we have to choose series position so just click on this gear icon and here you can see in plots it's already chosen overlay as a series position so we don't have to make changes but as we change over here that's why we have to click on this run and we have to just make sure that we are getting a, this kind of output which they mention on the lab instruction so just wait and here you can see we are getting similar output which they mentioned okay now just simply scroll down 
copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name for your visualization title click on the save and save to existing dashboard just replace the name over here and for the task number four you have to choose the airports and flight dashboard like this just choose that and then click on this save just wait and here you can see it's added over here now just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score just rewind the video and watch the task again and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys